Hey there teachers, I'm Alicia, the elementary professor, and I am back again today with another fraction card game. Okay, so here's the scoop with this game before I show you how to play. Um, it's I call it slap and say. It does involve slapping, not each other, just cards. Um, but because it involves slapping, I wanted to give a few parameters that I give my classroom. Um, the other games I've shown you so far have used two, two players, and this one I decided to use three. Um, it's easier, I think, for to have a dealer that's just doing cards for a round, and then two players, and then they switch. I make it very clear that you're not allowed to be the dealer the whole time. You have to take turns playing, um, partly because some kids don't want to practice the skill, and so they won't, they'll volunteer to be a dealer, and the other players will be like, sure, then I get to play more. Um, and everyone needs to, to just take turns and practice it. So that is one parameter. The other one is um, you have to make sure that the maturity of your class is ready for this. Um, and I usually I give that there's all, you know, the classes are mixed in levels of maturity. And I just always give them the maturity top. Like if you can play this well, you know, and act like a fourth grader or third grader or whatever they are, um, then you can keep playing. If not, I have this alternative assignment on my whiteboard and it's like a worksheet or a page out of their book or something equally boring that practices the same skill for them. And I don't waste any time warning kids. They get to be like, sorry, go back to your seat and do the assignment on the board instead of practicing with the game like everyone else. Um, the other thing is, um, I forgot the other thing. Oh, yes, okay. So, when for this game, when I show you, they have to they're gonna slap the card and then say whatever you're going for. If you're looking for this fraction in simplest form, they fraction they slap it and say whatever it is in simplest form. Um, and I have the rule that they have to say it the second they slap the card, because kids will always try to be like the first to slap, and then they'll be like, um, oh, I had I just forgot it. Wait, hold on, I gotta tie my shoe, and then I'll tell you. No, you lose the turn. The other person gets the cards. Okay. So you have to slap it and say it, okay? And then the dealer decides if you were right or wrong, okay? So those are my parameters. Let me get you set up to show you how to play. Okay, so for slap and say, and I think there is a card game that I modeled this after. I don't remember what it's called. It might have been Slapjack. I'm not completely sure. Um, but it's, it's pretty much played that way, except instead of slapping Jack, you're slapping the card when you know what it is you're going for. So for this one, you can play it a lot of different ways. You can practice simplest form, the same way Simple Simon did, where the dealer puts down um, cards, let's say like this. The dealer decides to put down this and you would slap and say one half. First person to do that would get to keep those cards, okay? If they slap it and they're wrong, the other player gets to keep the cards. So there is a punishment for just slapping and guessing, okay? You've got to think you know it, okay? Um, if you were wanting to play instead of simplest form, maybe you wanted to turn an improper fraction to a mixed number. Maybe the dealer puts down something like this and you would slap it and say one and two thirds, okay? So whoever slaps it first gets to keep it if they're right. If they're wrong, the other person gets to keep the cards. Um, the dealer, you could also play mixed numbers to improper fraction, and the dealer could be like, um, let's see. So this would be like, what, 35, 40, 40, and you'd slap and say 47. Okay, so you could play it that way too. So you can practice any of those skills, but here's how you play. You're going to have three people. You're going to have the two players, and you're going to have the dealer. And the dealer is going to draw the cards. Let's say I'm practicing the simplest form way. And I, as a dealer, I'm going to pull my two cards and look at them secretly and not show the players. And I'm going to decide, okay, this one needs to go on top. This one needs to go on the bottom. And then I'm going to, then I'm going to be like, come down real fast and get out of the way. And then that person, the players will be like, simple Simon, which is what my kids say when it's already in simplest form. They say simple Simon. Um, let's say you wanted to practice the, op the opposite, the improper fraction. I would arrange my little cards I drew, keep them secret, and then be like, okay, and so I'm going to slap and say one, one fourth. Okay, and they keep them. Um, if you do the same thing with a mixed number, they would decide, okay, I'm gonna make, and they could do whatever. They could be like three and one eighth. They could do, they could do it however they want. Um, so the dealer is, is looking at where it's kind of secret and the players can't see and then choosing. Um, you could do something like 
you know, the players have to close their eyes, but you know, some kids will, some kids won't, but um, it's just best, I feel like, to have the dealer secretly arrange and decide and then sit them down. And it's really, this isn't super fast game, like people aren't slapping right away because they do actually have to think about it and have the answer the second they slap it, otherwise they get, the other person gets the cards. Okay, so that is how we play slap and say, and we practice all sorts of fraction skills this way. I hope you have a chance to play this. Let me know in the comments if you do. And also see below in the description box where I have a link to a free equivalent fractions product on my blog. See you in the next one.